Oh, I love the latest episode. This is it. You better sound clever, make it flow, otherwise you're going to look really weird. Say something quick. Are you okay? Use a big word, any, just a big word. Desultory. Damn it. I'm sorry, what? Dow, what were you thinking? Okay, this silence is so awkward. Quick, say something else. Anything. Quantum mechanics. It's over. Go all in, own it. Because then they will start questioning themselves. Just, just say it confidently. Field of quantum mechanics, it's just a never-ending universe. So all of this is just really a figment, figment of your imagination. Floor, open up and swallow me whole now. In this video, you will learn how being more self-conscious will make you less self-conscious. Welcome back friends and subscriber family. You feel self-conscious because you think other people are watching and judging you and shaming you. Then we worry if we're being natural. Are we walking right? Are we talking right? Standing properly? Just so we're accepted. Ironically, your thoughts and the resulting behavior are actually making you more weird, not less. Hmm. For example, when I first started making these videos of myself, I'm going to share with you five tips for me. Today, I want to talk to you about... Or when I walked into a room with other people. Oh, this is awkward. Now what? Oh, look busy, look busy. Oh, I know. I'll pretend I'm speaking on the phone and I look busy. Hello? Oh, hi. Jeannie, how are you? I'm great. I'm just at a party. I... Oh, shit. It's actually ringing. Who? Oh. oh. Hello, Mum. Wait, I'm... And quite often on my own, with no one else around to judge me. Oh, my God. You judge yourselves. All of it. The whole thing. Those are thoughts in your head. Other people's judgments of you, they're not saying those things. And it's highly unlikely they're actually thinking those things. It's highly likely they're thinking about themselves, not you. And there is research that backs this up. We think more people are thinking about us than actually do. They have far more important things to think about. Themselves. Themselves. It's your own judgment of yourself that's causing you anxiety. Where does this come from? I'm not going to go into it too much right now because it's more helpful to focus on overcoming it, but it comes from when you were a child. Who in your family was critical of you? Or did you have to act a certain way in order to be accepted, be approved of by a caregiver. That's where it comes from. We learned this early on, before we had the capacity to discern what's good and what's not good, what's right and what's wrong. It's a habit we develop to cope with our surroundings. Anyway, that was the past. Let's move forward and help you overcome it. Why do we act stupid? I first need to tell you what won't work. Hello, how are you? It's a bit rude. Blocking other people or ignoring other people just so you feel better and safe, it just creates more problems. Instead, you just want to stop focusing on what others might be thinking of you, which basically means the thoughts are thoughts in your head. In your because head. remember, that's where the judgments are coming from. It's not as easy to stop doing something as it sounds, but it's not impossible. It requires training your ability to focus. And this is how you do it. How to cure your self-consciousness once and for all. I'm going to share with you examples in day-to-day -day life. When you go to the supermarket, where is your attention? Is it on picking the best apples and oranges? Or is your attention focused in your head? If you are focused on the thoughts in your head, you then start altering your behavior to appear normal. So you have some sort of control over how others perceive you. So how do you fix it? First notice, how are you feeling? Acknowledge, uh oh, that's that again. Don't judge it, just notice. That's the bit about being conscious of yourself how you're feeling and what you are thinking. Use that as a cue to intentionally point and focus your attention. You can only focus on one thing at a time. When you're focused on the thoughts in your head, you're not focused on what you're doing. So instead of getting pulled in your mind, point your focus onto your surroundings. Then you are taking back control of your mind. Smell things, touch things. Now let's look at a scenario when you're in a busy room, you might get terribly nervous and self-conscious. That happens because working on this new book and I'm really excited about it. I've got a fabulous agent who's completely... Who's co oh my God, look at that woman. Look at the size of her forehead. She can't talk, look at her. She can't, she can't even get a word out. <laughs> My God, you're right. 
I've never seen a bigger forehead and a bigger set of teeth on a woman in all my life. Yeah, about this. Are you, hello, you okay? Rather than paying attention to the person in front of you and listening to what they're saying, you're thinking about people who might be looking at you. Remember, the judgment is happening in your head and you're paying attention to that voice in your head. Here's what you do. Notice how you're feeling. Uh, I think I'm thinking about other people, what they might be saying or thinking. Once you're aware of that, that you're doing that, then direct your focus to the person in front of you. Do that by listening. Listen to the words they're saying. You see, when you focus on everyone around you, you're not actually listening to what they're saying because you can't do both at the same time. So listen to them. When you do this, you will find it much easier to be in the conversation and come across as your best self. Another scenario that this pops up, you're just walking down the street and someone is walking towards you. Instead of blocking them out and ignoring them, focus your attention on something about them you like, or simply sending them thoughts of love and kindness. See, when you focus on giving love and kindness thoughts, you're not focused on the negative judgy thoughts. Then you might actually smile at them. It feels much better than hiding from them or blocking them out. You can't block out the world to feel better because then you're letting fear win. Replace your judgy thoughts with loving thoughts so you can shine and shine your light on others. Self-consciousness comes from judging yourself. Instead, you need to be kind to yourself. Watch this video next on why that's important. I'm Anise Kizilbash. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.